As heat drags on, farmers are doing what they can to keep their livestock and crops from getting cooked. Yeah, KXAN's Mercedes Hernandez heard from a Georgetown farm to find out how it's coping with several days of intense heat. Days of intense heat at Sweet Eats Fruit Farm even has chickens scrambling for cover. So they'll be more active in the morning. You'll see them running around, jumping, playing. And then as the day goes on, they're laying around in the shade. Johnny Meredith is one of the farm's owners. She says special measures have been taken to help animals stay cool. That misting system hits them as well as there's a stall in there um, that other animals can just come in and lay on the cool ground. We have a fan on our bunny hutch so that even at night we can get some good airflow through there. The heat has also changed how the farm cares for its crops. Agriculture manager Mau Morales says things like tomato plants get extra water to keep them healthy. The farm is hosting its sunflower fest right now. He says the hardy flowers adapt well, but also need more to drink. We used to irrigate them maybe once a week or every other week, but now we have to irrigate two times per week. Summer heat in Texas does present its challenges. Uh, Gary Joyner with the Texas Farm Bureau says row crops like sorghum and grain would be the most affected by this current heat. Uh, those varieties are planted uh, in a timely way to hopefully avoid some of the uh, most strenuous periods of high heat, uh, but they are also victimized by high temperatures. For now, Meredith and Morales and the animals wait for cooler times to come. In Georgetown, Mercedes Hernandez, KXAN News.